Hello everyone. My name is Zainab Al Fatima from the Department of Commerce Self Financing, and today we have gotten this amazing opportunity to interview an exceptionally young talent, Rol John Aju. At the young age of just fourteen years, he yes. has mastered such a complex topic of artificial intelligence, and also has designed his very own robot to assist him in his classes being conducted in the United States. So we'll head right into it. Yeah, uh, sure. <laughs> hi. So, <laughs> hi. So uh, I want to know, like. At at such a young age, even I have brothers of your own age. How did you like? What drew you into this topic of AI? How did you like get that passion? So basically, I've always been into technology from the time I know. Like I always like to make videos on YouTube. I always mm-hmm. like video editing. I even took my phone, like put whole iOS into it. Not like iOS, like another Android version into my Android phone. Oh, okay. So like full removing the software. So I've always been into the current technology. So I was like, what is coming next? So that's when I figured out. Okay, so there is something known as AI. So I was like, what is AI? And it just blew my mind. Like I used to edit videos for my YouTube that took around two months, hmm. but with this AI, I was able to do it within like two days. So it's like how it increased my productivity from here to here. Hmm. So I was like, uh, how you know, how are the what else can it do? So I was like, it can create pictures. So it can create you know music. It can create videos with just text, hmm. and it's magical to see it. So it's like I need to share it with other people. So I created a YouTube video about AI. Then I went to Clubhouse. I think you might know it's a social audio platform hmm. where you can talk about uh, you know anything to people around the globe. So uh, first, I tried to look for people you know who are interested in AI, Malayalis basically hmm. who are from Kerala. I couldn't find anyone who were interested <laughs> in AI, but then I was like, okay, I know English. Let's try to talk to people who are from US. Hmm. So. I did that, and from there onwards, it just grew hmm. from AI to crypto to blockchain. I I'm like, what is coming next? What is the next future technology? Hmm. So yeah, <laughs> that's how it kind of started. Ah, uh, so um, like people consider you a child prodigy from Kerala, and <laughs> when I think about child prodigies, you know what comes to my mind is young Sheldon, <laughs> and we've seen in that series like Sheldon Cooper had like at, because of his young age, people had judged him a lot, and like you said, from Kerala, that's not. that many people who understand ai so at the beginning did you face any judgment from family friends your school like how was that journey luckily uh, i have seen the season of sheldon cooper <laughs> i am not like that and neither i am like a big prodigy or anything anyone if they follow their passion anyone can be you know i'm just like 0.11 person better you could say just because i know about ai and stuff if anyone follows their passion they'll also be you know be able to the best version of themselves i'm not mm-hmm. saying i'm the best version of myself not at all but you know um but yeah young sheldon i like the series but anyway coming back to the point um what i feel is that i have been you know fully supported by my parents my school my friends everyone so yeah luckily like young sheldon i have not been judged yes a few times i have because of my height and all but not because i know ai and stuff like hmm. that so yes <laughs> so um when i got to know i'm interviewing the role jana jo i had to do some digging and i checked through your instagram and i like recently you had a post about an ai tool called assemble uh, about the fashion trends and it's actually like as a girl in a all girls college i want to keep up with the fashion trends so adubole do you have any like uh, ai tools that you use on your own in your like daily life that helps you a lot i know that you use it a lot for your editing and all that right yeah i for my the thing is that i try to integrate edit uh, ai to everything that i do mm. from editing to studies to uh, you know even like i said picking my dress <laughs> to anything even uploading youtube videos i use ai editing youtube videos scripting youtube videos so everywhere anything you give me i try to use ai <laughs> <laughs> so yeah like there's a tool known as flashka that mm. i use for studies so yeah lo- <laughs> so yeah i use ai a lot a lot okay um There's a lot of misconceptions about AI when we talk about AI. So a lot of people don't accept it very easily. So 
you do have like an educational background. You teach a lot of students. How do you clear up that misconception? Because a lot of people think AI is either a salvation or might lead to a destruction. What is your opinion on that? So what I feel. So what do you feel about you know? Will AI take your job or when you uh, what you want to become? Will AI take that in the future? I think we adapt to everything. So similarly with AI also, I think how as as humans also we also adapt to it and we'll. like it's it's like in a coexisting manner mm-hmm. yeah it's actually you got the answer <laughs> but basically when computers came everyone is like it's going to take a job no you know no one will get employed but the biggest companies in the world are tech companies google they are giving employment to a lot of people then you know like more than before we have lot of people who are employed because of computers mm, yes, so i feel true. when ai comes the same thing is going to happen hmm. you know more people are going to get work but currently for the next 5 years they will lose work just like computers but yeah after that i'm pretty sure there'll be new job opportunities for people to you know use ai and do something hmm. so yeah <laughs> you have been on multiple platforms at such a very young age i've noticed you're a tedx speaker so do you have any memorable experience that stands out where you can see someone's perspective genuinely change about ai anything that stands out like that uh so yeah there have been a lot of experience <laughs> uh for example even in clubhouse so like lot of people said yeah we'll take my job i don't want to use ai so i was like it so tell me if someone who uses ai won't he take your job so for example hmm. if that person made the same presentation within 2 days and you make it within um, say a week you obviously the other person will get the job so like told that person about it and it kind of made sense to him so yeah, it just clicked kind, for me as yeah, well yeah <laughs> it just clicked for him hmm. so yeah that is one of the experience that i've had Okay so um like a lot of people are interested about AI now especially with chat gpt ellaru ingana manasilai thodangi endha ai endu so there are a lot of people who want to get into ai but they don't know where to start like how would you suggest like they start their journey i would honestly just say what is your interest what is your passion because ai is literally an artificial brain hmm. whatever you do ai can be integrated into it so imagine you're a painter use nvidia crayon basically it's a tool basically you draw a mountain normally with a pen like black imagine and it will turn into a beautiful mountain hmm. so it's not like text to image but you draw something and it enhances the image hmm. so anything that you do ai can be integrated into it hmm so yeah so i think that's all we have today actually yeah. you it has been a very very informative session and uh, i'm very thankful to have been girl, like to get the privilege of being able to interview you <laughs> nothing like so that thank you so much for your time and patience thank you thank you, thank you. <laughs>